So we're gonna test easy sites, patch system, 200 packer is all hooked up. We have a pre 200 to 300 liner. We're gonna install a DM200 patch and a DM250 patch. Uh, it's the DM300, a four and a 600 packer is in the machine. Control from the iPad. So we're gonna have this all hooked up, normal 13 amp socket, and just a normal air hose coming in to quick release. So um, that's the size flux patch material. So we're just getting all prepared for uh, getting this all sorted. So we're gonna do uh, the 200 to 300 material into a 200 and 300 pipe, and then we're gonna have a DN 300 five millimeter material which is sitting on the table here and we are going to have a go at this i'm going to try to have uh, the n300 and at least the dn400 possibly the n500 if it fits on the packer so that's the that's the today's plan so right, the guys prepare all, all the cover the packer so it doesn't have any resin on it and then we're going to be ready to get going so here is Ronnie improvising, covering up the packer, so make sure that we have no resin on the silicone bladder. You always want to keep your equipment clean. So we had some sheet, clear sheet, and we made a pipe out of it just to wrap it around the, the sun electrical tape, secure it to both ends, and I will be ready to get the material over it pressurize it and then get the light on so 15 inch 15 inch patch being cut 15 from and 18 on the bigger one 15 on the 15 small one on and the 18 200. on the big ones so that's the very first one on the 200 Yeah, make sure the stand has touched the book of the packer and the one to clean it. So you prepare your packer with your foil, very easy, and you just slide the material over the packer, so it's no wrap or something anymore. Then we take the electrical tape because uh, you want to mount the patch to the packer because when you push them in you don't want to let you slide in different positions so you have to pick them on the packer and this is mostly that you pull it together make a window right. one and a half times of the wrap on an electrical tape, not more because... And you recommend using electrical tape, so I can I, use one I and use my lifelong electrical tape yeah. for working always, then. but just one and a half times, if you do it too many times, wrap it around, then it won't explain it. So, this is pretty much, we are ready to put it in, now we have to put the wheels back on. Connecting power, uh, connecting air. 
What should you do? And run the. Is a little bit tight here, the packer. Once we're ready with this, then we're gonna push it into a fight and cure it. Yeah. And that's it. How much way to go? So, the M205 packer with the liner on, put on extra holes, I'm gonna shove that down in a little. Then uh, we select the diameter. Uh, you have a drop down menu when you oh, I love it. You can decide for the size of packer DN200 or DN250. Yeah, right now we make a DN200, we decide DN200 and we lock the diameter. Yeah, and then all the function of the buttons are available. Yeah, okay. Okay, I'll find the turret. Oh, sorry. Okay, so, the N250. I can place something down there. I'm going to change the diameter to 250. I'll relock the diameter again. Right. Well, the diameter, okay? Yeah. And then uh, <coughs> we go to automatic inflation. Yeah. Auto inflation. And you will inflate the packer by itself. Yeah. And uh, here you see the pressure. And this is set, I don't know, I think it's one ball or something. Is it inflating? No, now it stops the automatic inflation. It stops at 0.6 bar. And now you want to bring them all the way. Now we can just manually increase the pressure. So what is your pressure, Rene? I have 1.1 1 .1 bar. 1.1 1 1 bar. Okay. And I feel it all the way inflated. Yes, it is inflated, yes. Yeah. Okay. So I'm on 1.2 bar. 1.2? That's pretty good. I give him uh, a minute or two. That's the end, but a little bit of 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 a little
Uh, we give a lot of a bit of a time, get the resin migrate after the edges, get some primary bonding, and then we're gonna start curing. So that's us gonna switch the UV light in a minute. That's the light is on. And that's pretty much we start curing and it's about eight minutes we shut the light and that's us. Rene just turning the lights off. Yep, on you go. Yeah, that's us. The lights have gone off and then we can add So avoid some shrinkage. We, we you keep the packer on for about two three minutes to just force the material out. Keep it like this for a couple of minutes, then deflate the packer, pull it out, and then that's us finished. So Lauren Ronnie just showed us that the, 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 the light temperature is 38.9. The packer pressure is still 1.2, 1.1, and 9.28 minutes for curing, and and the temperature of the curing is 50 degrees. But the small fire has dropped down already. Yeah, we nearly finished curing now, so that's why it's a bit cold. It was about 52, 53 degrees. So I think we're gonna just shut the light and. So what needs? Here's the light we've got here. The light temperature. Do I need to see that? Do I need to know? Yeah, I, I do need to know. Yeah, I want oh, oh, yeah. Sorry. Well, I, think, I mean, what, what, what is that tell me, obviously? Tell me. That's us. So, so the factor out. out. That's what we want. Yeah. And now what we're going to do is we're going to cut that. Can you cut that off? Cut that product open. David has a knife as usual. As usual. The yeah. man himself with the knife. That's... Yeah, I want to see the transition. You don't need to cut it right off? I'm here at Costco, I'll take a look too. I'll take a look for the And we've cut this material from the N200 to the 250. Okay. Before you cut it off. Uh, cut this right off. Solid as a brick. So it's, uh, it's a cute piece, and as you can see, it, there is not, nothing, no any wetness, no any, no nothing, no no glukiness, no. It's absolutely perfectly dry. So it's nothing in it. That's just a piece of. Uh, so that's exactly what we want to.